YouTube, I am back. That is right. I am just, I'm happy to be back. And actually, what you just saw there was a sneak peek at one of my newest project, projects, Wog Tank. Unfortunately, it's not actually, I can't show you guys anything more than that because it is still officially under testing. But anyways, I'm very much back. And first off, I'd like to say I'm sorry for not posting videos. But like I said, I was sick. I was not feeling well. I'd play matches, and like the more matches I played, it's just the worse I felt. So I, just, I had to stop. There were times where I was sitting there thinking, I was like, man, I should probably do a few matches, but I thought about it, and then I just got like really sick. It was like, then again, maybe not. I'm really sorry about that. But hey, we're back now. We're gonna keep on doing some matches. But before I had some, <laughs> before we actually get going again, uh, because I had so much downtime, I actually had time to peruse the Mech Warrior universe. Um, the, uh, the um. The fiction, not the fiction side of it, the uh, the artsy side of it, and I've actually come up with a few uh, things I think you guys should go and check out. One of them is um, uh, this is a Mech Warrior, um, and he does. He's not only has he done a number of really cool Mech animation videos, and he actually shows you how to do it. So if any of you are in the video game industry or want to learn how to animate your Mechs want to learn something about how to do mech type stuff I would highly recommend you guys go and check his channel out I will post a link for it in the description um, I'm trying to find his name now and ah here we go the guy you're looking for is great Griffrey Griffrey grabber I apologize if I said your name wrong I'm I have a hard time reading things, but um, he's done a couple really funny videos. One of my favorites is the Ultra Ace, is the Ultra AC20 test fire or fire test one that is absolutely hilarious, and I think it's awesome. But he's also done a few song parodies. He's done raindrops, keep raining on my head a parody for LRMs, keep raining on my head. Um, he did What Does the Mech Say? That's, uh, I'm not too, I'm not too big of a fan of a song, but I will still say it's a pretty good song. But my favorite out of all of these is, many of you, some of you may know the song Burning Ring of Fire. He did a parody called My R called Rigs on Fire. It's all about how heat affects battle mechs and what the dangers of it are. And I saw it and I was like, oh my god, this is too hilarious. It was just one of those things that I found it, and it was just, oh my god, that is so freaking funny. But yeah, that's what I got to say from him. Um, a number, there's been a few patches that I've come out lately, and you're probably going to get to see them. I like, I'm like, i liking what they've done, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, if you go down into skills, and you go into pilot trees, they've actually added, um, under weapons, they have added more to the range. They've added more range uh, XP upgrades. Uh, one of the ones I was actually went looking for myself because it might be something I actually do is before they only had up to the LB10. Well, now they have an LB20 range upgrade. They have a few others. You could check it out. I'll try to post a link for that. They've also given a couple more cooldowns, which is nice. It, they've given more of the cooldowns. It's nice. They haven't really given a whole lot to these two, but it's nice to see that they have done uh, more of that. Um, they've done a few things with the interface, which is pretty cool, and also the, um, you'll see it when we drop in, um, before they used to have, like, if you got an assist or a kill or something, they'd have it down in the corner, well, it's actually down, it's actually up now on your HUD, and you guys will probably see that, um, later on, but we're not, but you guys aren't here to listen to me babble, you guys are here for me to show you day 28 of the Insane Challenge, without further I do or stalling we're gonna go ahead and jump in and um, I actually got we had a problem with our old network system so we actually upgraded so the matchmaker has been a little more cooperative uh, plus with the patches that they've done so hopefully we'll be able to get this uh, done we'll hopefully we'll be able to get into a match particularly faster I don't know what it likes to be finicky with me which is kind of irritating but yeah so that is the story behind. So that's the story of what's been happening. I'm really sorry for not for being so over delayed. But then again, there's probably not enough. There's 
I, I don't like saying that, but I'm just saying that there's probably the few people who watch this channel or maybe even take a glance at it, um, they probably aren't too up in arms about it. I mean, really, this was just this was kind of something that I did because I thought I was gonna win. Uh, the whole premise behind the insanity challenge was true enough. I was bored and I thought, hey, what the heck. Um, but it's just one of those things that I thought no one watches, so I figured um, I would win at this. And lo and behold, that one of my pilots, CJ, decided to have a little fun with it. Thank you very much, you jerk. I'm gonna. He's gonna get his one of these days. Like, this is the second time I've called him out in the video. At least I'm pretty sure it's the second time I've called him out. But, anyways, point being is that because of him, I actually. Because of him, I built this thing, and I gotta say, um, uh, I, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm probably am gonna get rid of it, and it looks like we got a match. That's good, just because it's not something that I'm really looking forward to keeping, and that's the fact that uh, because of the new project I started, I actually need money. So I'm gonna see if I can't scrounge up a few C bills uh, with that. Okay. Wow, I can barely hear my Mac. I'm gonna have to try and uh, change that. I don't like not being able to hear my Mac. Hard to win from this side. Well, really, when you think about it, it's kind of hard to win from any side. At least that's what I find. Um, the way I kind of let this thing, the way I kind of do this, is I kind of, I kind of try to follow a little bit of what I think would be a good idea. But I also try to stay with the main uh, crowd of mechs because there is a higher chance of survival, and it is kind—it's of, a little bit of a cheaty type tactic. But you can't always duck behind some guy that's got AMS and let him take a few blows. And you know, honestly, I see a, honestly, there's probably a few light pilots that do that. I don't know if there are per se, but I'm betting there are at least one or two. But hopefully we have a few good matches and um, puts on a good show for you. Looks like we had some laser fire over there. Target acquired. Oh yeah, that is really, really quiet. I'm going to have to fix that because I don't like having mechs blasted in my ears, but at the same time, I don't like them being too quiet because um, even though I do ramble a lot, um, one of the best tactics I think mech warriors can use is learning how to listen to what's going on. Your mech will always tell you everything about what's going on. Learning to listen to your mech is the most important. Holy snugs. I just noticed we have we have four direwolves on our team and they're all variant Bs. OMG, that is hilarious. That's one for the record books. Target acquired. So it looks like there's a little activity in the tunnel. I did see some laser fire. It looks like they're trying to shoot us, but I can't see them. Oh, wait. Looks like I thought I saw some movement. Oh, that's great. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, looks like this guy's found them. I'm going to go ahead and back him up, but if he starts backing out, then I am going to back up too. And again, I don't like, I don't like going in this tunnel because it's too dark. I can't see anything. But it looks like we're going to get a gang of three dire wolves up on this guy, so this is probably going to hurt him more than it's going to hurt... Um, us too much. I don't know. This guy is kind of taking a lot of fire, so it's a stalker. And yep, right there. You see, I got a little component destruction. 
I overheated, which was uh, kind of a bad thing. I wasn't paying attention too well. And I, my guns are actually um, all on the wrong trigger, which is irritating, and I don't know how that happened. But yeah, I'm not gonna get, oh, hey, I actually got that kill. Sweetness. Okay, cool, I got a, I got a kill and I died from it. Um, this is kind of uncool though, because I'm actually in a really bad spot. And I've got a lot of mechs in here. At least I've got a few mechs. And my guns are all like the wrong way, which is very irritating. And it keeps shutting me down. So, um, I've actually got to take a second. I've got to reconfigure. And this is probably the worst possible time to reconfigure uh, your weapons. Purely because this is like when you don't want to be doing it. Target destroyed. Okay, so right there, you see again, I got a kill assist, and that was kind of, um, I did, I'm still happy with getting kill assist. I know that I gripe and groan a lot, but really, a lot of it is just kind of, uh, I'm just a little upset. And that's, that's probably really unprofessional. In fact, I think it is unprofessional. Well, uh, I'm not trying to do that. I don't know. I'm in kind of a good mood today, so I'm not too up in complaining about things. Lenny, I say that now. Oh, it sounds like I lost my SRMs. And that was another kill. That's awesome. Okay, so we're having a pretty good match today. That's two kills. Oh. Oh. Ultra auto cannon destroyed. Okay, well, so I kind of lost my big punch, but that's okay. Target I mean, acquired. lasers aren't all that great either, but hey, better one weapon than zero weapons, am I right? Whoa, I'm getting shot in the back. Oh, great, and it's an Atlas. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it, but at least I can tag him. Okay, well, uh, I have no idea what the heck that, what the heck happened there. Everyone went to the box Canyon Death Trap. Eh, I don't know. I got two kills, and anytime I get a kill, I always call it a good mission, because um, maybe for some of you guys who get like five and seven, like five and seven kills a match, um, that's really cool for you guys. But for me, I don't get a whole lot of kills. So anytime I can get at least acquired. one kill, I will call it a good day. So while one kill may be considered a really bad day for you, it's actually a pretty good day for me. So. It's a six on six right now. Hopefully that uh, changes. I'd like to start the day off with a win. That'd be nice. New target acquired. Something that I would actually like. Um, never mind. I, I've talked a lot about what I would like to see from the game. I'm not going to try and talk too much about it. But actually, um, I'm actually going to throw this out here because there is actually some games. There's a few mech games. I, I've known about them for a while, but I've never really been one to be like, eh, it's just another mech game. Who cares? But, I don't know, for some reason, I kinda, I'm thinking about them. And the game is, few of you may have heard of them, they are Mech Warrior Tactics and Mech Warrior Living Legends. Now, Living Legends is something that I'm kind of going to try and see how it looks. Um, I don't really know how it's going to be. It looks something, it looks like a little bit more um, real version of Mech Warrior. Like, I mean, because 
this version of MechWarrior looks like looks pretty real too. But I'm saying the Living Legends looks like I don't know. There, there's something. <sighs> Excuse me. There's just something a little different about it that I can't really put my finger on. Um, oh, seven to nine. <laughs> I hope we win this one. But um. Uh, the other one is MechWarrior Tactics, and that's what they call a browser-based game, which um, I believe I've played one before, and it's supposed to be based off the tabletop version, and I'm actually, I say I'm trying, and really it's more of I'm attempting, because, I mean, I want to play the uh, tabletop Talking game, but I've just, quiet. I have not gotten around to actually reading the rule book, and I've got a few of my friends who would like to do it, but the thing is that I need to learn how to play it, from watching the game, I've learned a little bit of how it works. Not a whole lot, but I've learned a little bit. So I've got a little bit of an idea of what to do, but I am going to have to read more extensively. The tabletop game, I, the only tabletop game I've ever played before, and <laughs> some of you are probably going to be laughing, but I actually did play a little, a tiny bit of D&D. &D. And i got to say, D&D, &D, it's not a bad game, actually. It's Leaving a game up to the imagination, it's pretty cool. Because you have to draw... Everyone's going to have their own idea of what they see. And it's really kind of cool to have to, to just draw that in. And put it all together. That is just... Ooh. That's going to leave a mark. But that was actually something... You know, I thought it was pretty cool. And actually, no, that's not true. I have also played a, a Star Wars tabletop game. Which was nice. Um, I... I do that with a few buddies of mine uh, every now and again, but it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. It kind of gets a little out of control when we start yelling at each other. I don't think my guy. It was one of the oh, seven destructions. Now that's good. That's gonna be okay. So not as great of a haul as I'd like, but that's still pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and call that first mission pretty good. Okay. And I'm going to try something. I hope this doesn't interrupt the download, but what I'm going to do... Or not the download, the... Uh, str the, the rec Flip it, though. Bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> the record. And that's the fact that um, I'm going to bounce out for a second. And I'm going to go and get... Or I'm not going to go and get... I'm going to... Oh! Well, that's another thing it looks like they changed too. Um, before, um, I'd see a bunch of trial mechs on my screen, but I'm at all, and then I'm at owned mechs, and this is just all the mechs I have, and it's still got the owned purchasable filter. For some reason, I don't really know why, but they've got this owned thing up here. I don't know. But I'm going to bounce out for a second, and I'm going to see if I can't um, increase the volume without interrupting the, um, the record. So hopefully this works, so just... Give me a sec. Okay, that should work better. And I'm actually going to uh, bounce in here for a second. I kind of did a quick config, which is something I don't like doing because I often feel that I make mistakes. So I'm going to... I'm just going to tweak things around and make sure everything looks good, which it actually does. Yeah, I think that'll work out, okay. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and save that. And I could have probably just done that when we get on the battlefield. I was actually playing a match the other day, and it was one of those things of I dropped in and the the weapons weren't configured for some reason. And it kind of drove me like, okay. And I had some guy who was on the chat and he was griping at me because I wasn't moving around. I told him to you know relax, but you know he was all like, you know, dude, get moving, move, move. Eventually, in hindsight, I did wind up getting killed, and that. In all due respects, that's probably my fault. That probably is very much my fault. But, I mean, it's just one of those things of, of I can't fight in a mech. Because, I just, I don't know. It was just one of those things.
something I was actually just thinking about. Um, around here, it's getting around Halloween time, and I'd actually like to know. Leave a com, leave a comment down below, and tell us what your favorite candy is, or what your favorite part about Halloween is. To be honest. <laughs> I know someone out there is going to be yelling at me for this one, but I actually still trick-or-treat. And my premise of trick-or-treating is the fact of, why not? Over the years, trick-or-treating has become, trick-or-treating has become a lot of things. And one of those things is the fact that it used to be, well, I won't go too far back what it used to be, but... Before, we have two direwolves on our team. God. Talk about a murder of crows, am I right? We have three direwolves on our team. I am one of them, and the other one's a stalker. <laughs> this is a murder of crows. No, I'm actually going to touch back. Ah. Sorry, that caught me off guard. I was actually running a patch for one of my other games. But everyone talks about these LRM boats, and actually, I saw a picture the other day, and it was this guy. It was one of those animation type things, acquired. and it, one button said missiles, and he pressed it, and then there was a switch that said more missiles, and he flipped it. And there was a big red button that said all the missiles, and he just like kind of punched that button. And I was like, you know, I've seen that one too many times, and I thought it was really funny. But, over the years, Halloween, or trick-or-treating, I should say, that's really the topic at hand. Trick-or-treating was all about just going out and getting a few handfuls of free candy. And everyone liked that. And now it's more towards our trick-or-treating for little kids. And now it's for, if you're over the age of, like, um, like 10, then trick-or-treating is like, ooh... He has issues. He's still trick or treating. I was like, guys, the frick? Two spots. Nice. Took a little damage to the right. Ow. Never mind. But I guess what I'm trying to say is what's the problem with trick or treating? Why is it something that is like so blasphemous if you're if you're 17? or if you're 30 or whatever, and you still trick-or-treat. What's wrong with that? Ow! Ah, come on. Okay. In hindsight, I probably should have thought more methodically about this. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh, great. I kills us. Can't get kills and get kill assists.
Yeah, I saw that coming. But if we win, I should have a ton of assists coming my way. That's funny. Wait a minute, how do you have an LRM brawler? Do you have like LRM 15s with like LBX 20s or something? Or 10s? It's been a long time since I had Smarties, and I gotta say, Smarties are just one of those classic candies, or at least they seem to be like a classic candy. Skittles and Smarties. Ugh. That was not very good. I actually don't like the green apple Skittle. I think that they should seriously bring back the lime Skittle. I don't even remember what the lime skittle tastes like anymore. I mean, I know obviously it tastes like lime, but come on, everyone knows there's more than one flavor of lime out there. Okay, that was a cool kill. Dude, go for the legs on that thing. Take it out faster. Dude, go for the legs. A chance to get one last kill, but eight to twelve, not fantastic, but not terrible either. Eh, four assists, not my ideal, but hey. Oh, that reminds me, they also reconfigured uh, team damage, so apparently it, it's more of a penalty now. At least that's what I understand it to be. Okay. 
Yeah, it looks like for the time being things are fully out. I'm sorry about that, guys, but uh, for some reason uh, my computer wanted to uh, trip out on me. So yeah, I'm, and while I was doing that, I got distracted with another thing, and I was also working on getting Living Legends workings. But now it looks like oh, stretch, we're good. So let's get back in the action. me that my mic was like halfway down I was like I find it incredibly funny that I can never find a match, but the minute I touch my phone, I get a match. Sometimes I just find that far too funny. Alright, well, we're getting another frozen map. Oh god, I know someone's going to make a comment about that. Two DCs, three Timberwolves. All right, so that's a pretty that's pretty heavy right there. In our land, in my lands alone, I've got one Stalker, a Direwolf, which is me, and two DDCs. God, okay, we're bringing the we're bringing the punch. The rest of you guys bring the party favors, okay? Looks like we're gonna have a disconnect. I'm going to assume he's talking about the time in um, Mech Warrior. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Walkers that got smushed. 
like crunch. Like, okay. Um, I don't know. Everyone always goes up there. I think that guy was trying to make a heart, and I think he almost succeeded. Ow! What the heck? It did not occur to me that I actually do not have my headphones on. I gotta try and get a new head, because, I mean, the, this set of headphones, it's okay. But the ones I use for, like, playing around and listening to stuff, they're actually a lot better. The speakers in them are much more clear. And, oddly enough, they're actually Skull Candy. And for a long time, I did not like Skull Candy. And it was just one of those things where my dad just, you know, he walked home, he said, Hey, these are good. These are a good brand. You'll like these. And... He's my dad. My dad's never given me any reason to, um... My dad's never given me any reason to think that he'd be wrong about something, so I tried them, and I actually liked them. And from that point on, I've used n nothing but the Skull Candy brand that I've been using. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about MechWarrior, but I just had a great thought for a cockpit item. A Slurpee. I think that'd be awesome if you had a cockpit item that was a Slurpee. Ow. Well, maybe not. Thanks, you twonk. Ow, ow, ow. I'm being hit from all sides. I hate it when this happens. Now who's shooting at me? Would somebody like to shoot him, please? Okay, I swear to God. Whoever's shooting me in the back, I'm gonna find him, and then I'm gonna give him a good smack to the face. I do not like being shot in the back. I don't have a whole lot of rear torso armor to begin with. I have no lock on him, I have no idea what's happening, but I'm going to keep hitting him until he runs. Looks like he's had the good chunk of common sense to leave me alone. If anything, sometimes you can fire a shot to scare mechs off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it's not a fantastic tactic, but it is a uh, decent tactic.
feels like we've been in battle for so long. It's just something like I just want to charge in. I am aware of this. That's a cool paint. Yes. You kidding me? We gotta make it our back nine. A warhawk too. It was an assist, but hey, I got it. I'm fairly short range. I think it would be better if I stayed on here. Makes you real. Uh. Ow. I hate it when you're in mid sentence and you lose your thought. I really hate it. It's just kind of aggravating. There goes the pulse. Don't really care. I don't like pulse to begin with. Map's looking pretty thin. Then again, we're also running low on ma on time too. I do wish you could actually uh, change the engines in Clan Mix. I would like to see that happen. Oh, nuts!
lot of torsos going out. I think, I don't think uh, you get a lot of kills. I don't think a lot of kills happen from legs. I think most of them would definitely have to be uh, CTs. If I'm wrong, then hey, I'm wrong. But if I'm right, then well, I'm right. I tagged him. You just get closer. Now there we go. Yes, indeed it was a GG game. <laughs> Okay, I've actually got to do something, and I have to do something in the mech lab, so let's just take a second. One of my, three of my, or two of my guns appear to be missing, which I don't quite know how, which uh, I forgot to put back in. Okay, so, uh, with that done, be that done. Pretty sure that that's all the. Sorry, guys. I was doing something with a friend of mine, actually, with my dad. On, we were doing a few matches together, and I. And, um, I put the destroyer back together and I forgot to add a couple weapons, but I built it from memory as best I could. And I think I did eh, decently well. Except maybe I forgot two weapons. But let's face it, those flamers didn't get used anyways. Actually, if somebody wants to actually count, go back through all 30 days. Well, okay, there's only 28. So go back through all 28 days and actually count how many times I actually use the flamers in combat as, like, I'm attacking someone and not just spouting them for fun. Yeah, that was pretty cool how that one match we actually got was, um, oh god, what was it? It was, uh, four Daishis and one Lance. That was actually pretty cool. I have no idea how well this is going to work out. But I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to try for a point. Looks like I got myself a Banshee with me. I think I'm going to have the whole Lance with me, so that'll be nice. Hopefully we get the Epsilon and can take it and hold it. Okay, we have two Banshees and I think that's a Jaeger mech.
Oh, we have company at Epsilon. And a lot of it, too, by the looks of it. I gotta do something to try and increase my... Oh! Okay, yeah, definitely. It's like I don't learn my lesson. I know thermal in this map is bad, and yet, every now and then I attempt to use it. Like, I actually did see in, in the uh, chat one time, I was doing this with, I was just, I think I was just playing by myself, but there was this one time where I tried doing, or I was uh, playing, and some guy said, to play Terra Therma with heat vision on and they called it like hard mode or something and I was like that's stupid I might actually attempt that I think you know here's the thing uh, if I get another Terra Therma map and this will probably be like the worst match for you guys to watch but if we get another Terra Therma map at any point during my duration of combat then I will actually attempt the so-called hard mode, and we're already st already stripping down gamma. Jeez, oof, that direwolf is crip. Let me see if I can't get a shot on it. Because he's advancing. Oh yes, I got him. I killed him! Woo! I feel accomplished in life! That was so sneaky kill assist right there. That was... <laughs> that that might have been sneaky enough to classify it as a kill... As a, um... As a kill steal. We've got uh, quite the upper hand on him right now. This is a good match. If this hard mode thing actually does work out, I don't know. This is good. I'm probably gonna be like walking into mechs and falling off things, and one was like, I can't see anything. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna roast this already cooked earth, if you can even call it earth. Their forces are pretty crippled. I'm gonna go. If no one else goes for Theta, I'll go up there and help secure it. Wow, we're gonna cap like the entire border. The only point we're not gonna have. Okay, well we were capping Kappa, but let's just say, it and we have a suicide. Enemy cap in progress. Who's capping what? There's one guy who's capping. Wait. Uh, okay, yeah, they're trying to take Theta. They're not Theta. Kappa. We're trying to take Theta. I'll go up and brush through Kappa.
Okay, so they're all at Kappa. At least I think that's what he's trying to tell us. Uh, there's definitely a lot of them over there. Maybe I will, in fact, do another insanity challenge. Um, I don't know. Right now, this is not getting. This is getting hardly any attention drawn to it. So I'll see if it really actually takes off. And maybe if it gets a lot, of, if it gets a more attention to it, then I will actually do another challenge. I've already got one in mind. However, I think maybe next time I'll make the term. I'll set the terms a bit differently. Or maybe if I get a number, or maybe if I get a certain number of subscribers, then I will actually, then I will actually do something spectacular. But that's only if I can, but that's only if I'm thoroughly convinced. And, yeah, so. Isn't that always... Well, I'm not going to last long against these missiles, and I've got no backup, but hey, maybe I'll get, maybe I'll knock one of them out. Gotta kill and overheated, but hey. I'll just maybe power back up. Push some coolant. Got a kill and a component destruction on that one. And there's only one guy left. We're probably going to win on cap, though. Enemy team is about to win. What? Oh, great. Uh, where's Gamma? Is Gamma anywhere near me? No, Gamma's on the other side of the map. No way I'm going to have to get it. Sigma, Sigma, Sigma's all the way on the other freaking side of the freaking map. Jeez. Well, looks like they're gonna all move to Gamma. Um, I really don't know what to do here. I don't know if we're going to be able to win this. There's only two possible ways we're going to win this. A, the other guy dies. B, we outrun the clock, and I don't think that's going to happen.
It was a good game. I'm really kind of sad to see we lost, but we came close. We came really close on that one. But that's a, that's a good paycheck. I'm happy with it. How well did I actually do? I can imagine maybe some people got did more than me, but uh, my team do, 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 looks like I was the one that got the most kills. I didn't do the as much. I didn't do the best amount of damage. What I score? I'm gonna kick out for anything. So I didn't get the best score either. But eh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call it a win. I'm gonna call it a win for me. So anyone doesn't like it, then hey.
Okay, we're back with another match, and I'm caught on my own cord again. I'm gonna have to do something about this one of these days, because this is starting to get really ridiculous and quite irritating, actually. Well, as I said, I'll play it hard mode. This is going to be really difficult. For those of you who really like Mech Warrior, you guys should consider uh, checking out the forms because one of the forms it has this poll on it, and it says allowing custom emblems, and I think that'd be awesome. I mean, you have all these different clans out there, and if you actually allow them to have their own insignia, that'd just be one step further in allowing them. In giving us, like, um, that'd give us like our own unique sig sim. S s uh. Well, I'm gonna help a pilot out. Okay, so yeah. Okay, that dire wolf's behaving weirdly. Whatever. Oh, now you want to take the late? No, that's a different dire wolf. That's a red dire wolf. Dire wolves, I'm surrounded by dire wolves. I'm gonna go this way.
Looks like Epsilon's got a lot of activity. I guess I'll help out with Theta because it's right here. I guess we're going to Epsilon next. I ain't got no long range weapons, so I'm gonna have to walk there. Looks like I've got a small army with me. Ow! Check fire. Yeah, I probably spelled defend wrong, but... Oh, dang. I don't have much of an intention to lose this fight. Okay, kind of weird. Every time I press a <clears throat> press a key, something like changes. I'm gonna figure out which direction Gamma's in. Okay, ow. Okay. Someone can see me. Oh, a kill assist? Uh, oh well.
Okay, uh, what direction was I going? Uh, yes. Okay, so I wanted to go to Gamma, which I'm pretty sure is in this direction. As soon as I help take out that spider. Oh, great. Defensive kill. Ooh, that's got some bonuses to it. Oh, not another spider. I want to use the one weapon that I have that's actually... Never mind. Well, I died defending my point. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any help. Oh, I forgot to go hard mode. Oops. Okay, well, uh, next time. Next time I will do hard mode. I didn't mean to forget, it was one of those things that was just it was an accident. But next time I will go hard mode. Promise. Yeah, we're not making a comeback from this. Well, we might. We actually might. We have a chance, but not a good chance. No, we're not going to make it. We'd have to stop the entire resource production and we just lost. A good mech warrior, if you can, you can lose with dignity. Being able to admit that you got bested, and I kind of got bested. Okay, well, that'll do it for day 28. Tune in for day 29. Sure to come up pretty soon. And then the big one, day 30. And I've got something, I got something big planned for that. So, I hope you guys will enjoy this video and others. And, um, yes. Until next time, Mech Warriors, I am the Magnificent Spectre. You are the Billy Bad Scooter YouTube, and I will see you guys on the battlefield. Good night, everybody.